yo, don't adjust your sets and don't worry about the picture because it's terrible and the sound, oh my God, it's atrocious. But I tell you, watching the Soccer Sam show, it's the hottest show in town from L.A. to Tokyo to Leningrad. It's all over, baby, and you're watching it. Soccer Sam. <laughs> Welcome to my favorite TV show, The Soccer Sam Show, with my special guest today, the coach. Pat How you Eric doing, Foley. Sammy? Buddy. Sammy, it's always nice to be here. <laughs> I tell you, we had a great weekend. We went to Baltimore, saw the NPSL All-Star Game. It was pretty hot. That was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. A lot of food. A lot of pasta. It was good. We hung out with Jim May of the Blizzard and Gary Hindley. You know, it was really good. Jeff yeah. Eisenberg and... Yeah, it was a pleasure to see old faces there. A lot of the guys that I played with, a lot of coaches that coached during that time. Pato Maharic, those guys don't have hearts. <laughs> those new guys, what was he saying, those young guys? Yeah, he says there's quite a difference between players of today and players of the past. So, so you're one of the players of the past. Now, you played indoor soccer, didn't you? Yeah, I played indoor soccer for close to eight years, eight to ten years. Good. Yeah, long so, time. Did you ever make played it? Played with a lot of those guys playing in the All-Star game yesterday. Yeah. Did you, so you, did you ever play in an All-Star game back then? Yeah, I played in the the, year, the first All-Star game in St. Louis, and I was voted the MVP of that game. Ooh. Yeah. You know, it would be interesting if I get some footage of that and we could show it on the show. Well, I'm sure I can find some. Could, could you give me some? <laughs> definitely. I'd love definitely. to see some of those old faces back, Joey Fink and Dave McWilliams. And well, at that time you had Jungle, uh, Bronco Segoda, Julie V, um, Chep Messing in goal. Jim May was in goal. So you had quite a few popular names back then. So I, I, obviously, I do love indoor soccer. You know how I feel about indoor soccer. And we are fortunate that this weekend, Saturday afternoon, first of all, we have a game at the Rochester Community War Memorial called the Arena, the Toronto Shooting Stars versus the Buffalo Blizzard. Slash Rochester Rhino. Yeah. <laughs> we can call them our home team. Well, we're supposed to be cheering for Toronto, but I it's going to be tough with all our Blizzard buddies. <laughs> We got Yogi, uh, Rene, Rene, Fuzini, and, uh, yeah. and, Dougie. and Doug Miller. Yeah. So, I mean, it's going to be great. So, anyone interested in going to that game, it's this Saturday at 2.05 in the afternoon at the War Memorial. Get your tickets right there, Ticketmaster. Please, let's support. It's going to be huge. And at the third quarter break, I'm going to have a dance party. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to, I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to do the hustle, the bump, <laughs> all, all those famous dances of today. It's, yeah, I know. They asked me to go down there with you, but I, I passed on it. Oh, <laughs> we're going to have fun. So that's this Saturday afternoon. Make sure you get your tickets. And Sunday, for all you old Stallion fans, the Buffalo Stallions are having a reunion game at the Marine Midland Arena with some of the greatest stallions ever. You, you were never a stallion, were you? Not anymore. I used to be a stallion. <laughs> <laughs> but you did play for the stallions? Yeah, I played for the stallions in 1981. That was their first year? Uh, it was their second year. Second, second year, year. stallion. Yep. So we're going to have all those guys going to be in Buffalo at the marina Sunday afternoon. The doors are going to open at noon. They're going to have some pregame autograph session. They're going to have a parade with all these youth kids that are going to be there. And then at halftime is going to be the Stallions reunion game with Jim May, Oscar Paisano, Esco, Sadoy, Saguero, you know, yeah. Meditieri. I mean, yeah. everyone they could get that's still around. They're bringing some guys from out of town, so it's going to be a lot of fun. So remember the Stallions. Let's go there and support the Blizzard organization this Sunday. There's a number, 855 Four four zero zero. So we got a double header. Saturday afternoon, indoor soccer in Rochester. 
Sunday afternoon indoor soccer in Buffalo. Yeah, it should be an exciting weekend. It's going to be fun. You got your tickets yet? Oh, yeah. You don't there's have to a, buy a, tickets. You're a few, the coach, man. There's a few players I have to scout on those you teams. You just got another scouting right. trip. Especially with that uh, halftime game with the old names on there. <laughs> well, I, I, I think that, you know, some of those older guys are some of the better players of today. Could be. Some of them, if they got back in the shape. Uh, they have to lose a little weight. Uh, I want to see the coach. <laughs> Pat Eric, are you going to be there, right? You're going to play in that game? Yeah, there's going to be two of me. I'm going to slice myself right now. <laughs> uh, but it's going to be fun. So, right now we're going to go to the Rochester Sports Garden, and we're going to see a... Uh, video of some highlights of some local Rhino players that are playing at the Sports Garden. So take it away, JC, baby. The coach! That was a great weekend, man. Great job. Great job. And now we're going to meet the indoor stars of Rochester. My name is Diego Maradona. That doesn't look like Diego Maradona. You look like Chris Cano. Hello. I'm Ken Tumetsuko. I'm right, Chris Forey, and I am normal, unlike those two. To make a nightmare, ask if you can. T. Gillette in the house. Stevie Michael. Derek Contratado. Christopher Case. Mike Britton man from the Jamaican national team. All right. That's the Chili Pepper Salvatores team here at the Rochester Sports Garden. My name is Morton Krieger, and I hope we win today. Scott Miller, Peter Spagnola, Brian Sullivan, Brian Court, David Urbanski, Scott Blackmar, Scott Polo, Becky Hammy, Chris Court, Sean Egan, Court. Good luck, guys. Okay, ref, now, your name is? Kevin Sims. Kevin Sims. I've seen you before. Now, Kevin. I helped sponsor this, this team over here to chill yeah. up for Salvatore's team. Anyway, we can like, pull some, you know. No, Sam, no. Straight up. No, can't do it. Can't handle that. Got to go straight. Geronimo, look out below. Here comes the brother with the off-beat flow. I just fell from the mothership. Out here, brother's about to rip it on another tip. Slip, don't trip. Check out that one. My dick is in the house. I'll turn your body in the front. As I come from the depths of doom, I step back. With the boom.
Hi, I'm Peter Coley, the head coach of the Rochester Rhinos, and every weekend I watch my favorite television show, The Soccer Sam Show, and I enjoy it. Whether you're congratulating the MVP on the playing field or maybe the one in your office, NARA trophies can help you commemorate those special moments. NARA has a large selection of awards, including trophies of all sizes and a full line of wall plaques that you can customize. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, NARA continues their tradition of top quality workmanship at a reasonable price. I'm Mike. For a personal and reliable service, call us at NARA. We'll help you celebrate any occasion in style. For the finest in elegant dining and entertainment, visit the Brasserie Restaurant at 387 East Main Street, next to the Eastman Theater. The Brasserie is proud to offer an exquisite menu designed to make your dining experience one to remember. For a first-class night in downtown Rochester, it all starts at the Brasserie Restaurant, 387 East Main Street, the Brasserie, 232-3350. Accurate makes buying the right insurance as easy as finding us in the official Rochester Telephone Yellow Pages. We'll meet or beat anyone else's quote. Go to the tab for the lowest down payment and the lowest monthly payment. Go to the tab for any of our 10 locations, many in the same building as the DMV. Accurate, the first name in insurance, in the book and in Rochester. Go to the tab for life, health, home, and auto insurance. The name is Accurate. I tell you, those guys are in good shape, those uh, Rhino guys playing indoor at the sports garden. Yeah, I'm surprised. They've been uh, keeping in shape uh, by playing there. Uh, Did you play there? I haven't. I'd like to. I, I Nobody's uh, asked me out, you know. I'll ask you to come. You come <laughs> on my team. I play in the over 60 league. We have a good time. Over 60. Yeah. I have a re quite... Re oh, it's over 60 pounds. Well, yeah, over 60 <laughs> pounds overweight league. Yeah, that's the league. Um, we're going to go now to Baltimore. Pat's hometown for a little while, four years you lived four there? Four years, played there, yeah. Wow, that yeah. was great, great years back then. Yeah, I mean, uh, we had a tremendous amount of fun there. We had sellout crowds for every game. It was the same, uh, same atmosphere we had this summer here with the Rhinos. So it was nice to relive that feeling. The Baltimore Blast. Let's go to highlights of the 1997 All-Star Game in Baltimore. And if you notice, Dave, four of those American Conference starters from the Cleveland Crunch that really should help them here in today's game. Drew Kellan slows the counter, but now Fabiak trying to slide it forward. Making the save, but it's in the net. It's in the net. Goal, two-pointer for Steve Gooch. Oh, Arrow cutting up the carpet. And Drew Kellan shot it to the net. It's in the net. Oh, boy, it's in the net. Two-pointer goal. Hector Arrow. Conference get in the white jerseys. The National Conference in the red. Wonderway's second quarter get four 15-minute quarters. He's playing on his defense. Mark Bozer. I split the Daryl Duran. Duran coming through for the save. Oh, oh, oh. with This Week in Soccer, brought to you by Jim Mays Pro Shop. Here's Coach Pat Erkley with your Rhino update. Sorry, I really can't give you any news. You don't have one? You're going to have to wait. Come on, Coach. Coach, I mean, she's doing her job. She promised the people. Well, like I said, I mean, we can't let it leak out. Sorry, thank you. Next week, maybe. Next week? You're unbelievable. Let's go on to MLS. Here's Chili Pepper Kennel with some draftees. Take it, JC. We're standing here with Mike Fisher, the 1996 Herman Trophy winner. Congratulations on a great year, and uh, what's what's next? I mean, how does it get better than this? Uh, well, you know, the next step is to play in the MLS, you know, and uh, I haven't really decided if I'm going to do that or go to, you know, I like to go to medical school also. So, uh, you know, that's going to be a big decision for me, but, uh, you know, that's really the next step in my career. Well, if it's any, I would say uh, play ball now and then uh, be a doctor later. Yeah. But uh, thanks for joining us. Congratulations. All right, we're still back here. We've got Ross Pauley 
and Johnny Torres from Creighton. So these guys are some hot players. Hey, get out of my way. <laughs> these guys are some hot two new players coming up, and uh, they got one more year each, and I'm, I know you'll see them next year. The question is, where are we going to see you? You guys going to finish off school? Uh, as far as I know, yeah, I'll be there next year to finish off school. Stay in school. Stay in school. How about you? I'm going to look at my options and see what, see what happens. I don't know yet. Well, those Rochester Raging Rhinos have big money. Million dollar <laughs> contracts. It's a busy weekend for the MPSL. Saturday at the War Memorial, it's the Blizzard versus the Shooting Stars. Let's go to some interviews with Soccer Sam. Hey, soccer fans. I'm here in the locker room of the Buffalo Blizzard. February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day, the Buffalo Blizzard are coming to town to play our temporary home team, the Toronto Shooting Stars. I don't know what to do. We have the Toronto Shooting Stars, our, our so-called home team. You're my favorite indoor coach. I'm all confused. What are we going to do? Well, I hope everybody from Buffalo comes over there and cheers for Buffalo. And Rochester people got a lot of Rhinos players on our team. So uh, we hope that we can win them over. And even though the Toronto is the home team, we hope they cheer for Buffalo. Hey, soccer fans, we're here with Renee Rivas, one of my favorite Rhinos and one of my favorite Buffalo Blizzard. Renee, you know indoor soccer is coming to Rochester, your hometown. You know, Toronto's our home team. I don't know who the Rochester fans are going to cheer for, the Rhino players or the Toronto Shooting Star guys. I hope the Rhino players. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm so happy to wait and play again in Rochester. You know, I'm enjoying too much for that season and outdoor soccer. And I think the people enjoy it. I think the people in Russia like soccer. And this is soccer is a little different, but it's a lot of emotions, you know. Every time you have action in the field. And I think we enjoy it. February 15th, Rochester, Toronto Shooting Stars, the Blizzard are coming to town. We're going we're gonna to root for our Toronto Shooting Stars because that's supposedly our home team, but we also have our Rhino guys, so I don't know what to do right now. Well, you know, with all the Rhino guys playing in Buffalo, uh, it's going to be funny to see who actually is the home team. I mean, a lot of these Buffalo guys, too, have played down in Rochester, so I'm sure the crowd is going to really enjoy it. It's a bit different from outdoor, so it'll be a pretty lively event. Well, all you people that missed Doug Miller, number 19 for the Rhinos, he's going to be in Rochester February 15th versus the Toronto Shooting Stars. Come out and support my main man, Doug Miller. Yeah, and watch the Soccer Sam show. You know, February 15th, we're going to play in Rochester. You're going to play against Toronto. Now, you know, you got to be easy, though. That's our home team. You know, you're our own guys, you know. You can't hurt nobody. No, uh, no, you know. Uh, you know, I think to me, the game is not going to be easy because I'm going to play hard and then just make the fans to be happy, you know, because they were there for me or the rest, the rest of the guys who are playing for Rhinos, so you know, I think I'm just going there and play hard and then trying to cheer them. At the Marine Midland Arena this Sunday in Buffalo, at halftime of the Blizzard game, the Stallions Reunion. For tickets, call 855-4400. If you have any soccer information, fax me, Jackie O, 254-3271. Have a great soccer weekend. Blizzard Soccer Tips, sponsored by Marine Midland Bank. Banking for the real world. Hi, I'm Randy Pigazinski of the Buffalo Blizzard with your dribbling tip. When dribbling a soccer ball, you like to use the inside and the outside of your foot. You like to use both feet, so I prefer you practice with both of them. Another one is to keep your, your shoulders square over the ball, so this creates good balance and better control. You don't want to keep the ball too far out in front of you. You, you want to keep it about six inches to maybe a foot, so this way the opponent doesn't steal the ball. And always keep your head up when dribbling the ball. And the best tip of all is to practice, because that makes perfect. And this is Randy Pigazinski with your soccer tip. Buffalo Blizzard Soccer Tips, sponsored by Marine Midland Bank. Banking for the real world. Coachy, you know, you know I, I need to know what's going on with the Rhinos, man. I mean, you know, you invite me here to your, to your studio, and uh, Rocco and Brother Anthony are nowhere to be found. They're always around. Well, what, is something wrong with me? No, no, Brother Anthony's <laughs> got a little problem right now. Rocco's meeting with a doctor right now. We're going to show you some footage of that next week here on the show. I'm concerned, but they had to go to a special doctor to try to help Brother Anthony. 
But um, you know, you, you're here. You come all the way down here. Can you give, what's up with the rhinos? Come on, give us a little, just a little bit. Well, there's a few things happening. I mean, I'm not at liberty to say at this point, but we're gonna have some exciting news next week. But this is what this show is all about. We have to break them stories. I can't give it to you right now. Okay. Can't give it to you. You're still uh, ironing out the final details. All right, buddy. Well, let's go to the second half highlights of the NPSL All-Star Game 1997. <laughs> the all-star game with Buffalo Blizzard all-star Andrew Crawford. Andrew, how was it out there? Well, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it was really a lot quicker than most of the games in the regular season. Back and forth, guys cheating, uh, a lot of offense. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It was a great time. A lot of goals out there. Yeah, I mean, the goalies, I mean, certainly saved the day, too. There could have been 40 points on either team instead of just 16-12 uh, or whatever it ended. So how did you enjoy this uh, memorable weekend here? That was a great time. I was a lot of good memories. Uh, you know, met a lot of guys, got to know them a little bit better um, from other teams. So that, you know, I'll take those things from, uh, from the weekend. This is Jackie O with your local update brought to you by Naira Trophies and Awards. The Rochester Ravens are having soccer camps. Call 442-9527 for info. Great part-time job offer. Become a referee. Call 227-3767 for information. The IACC is having a Valentine's dance to benefit their soccer program. It's this Saturday night. Call 426-8180. 
Doug Miller and your favorite Rhinos and Blizzard players are having a foot skill clinic. Call 377-5542 for more info. Holly Soccer International is seeking boys 16 and under for a trip to England and Scotland. Call 638-5633. Coaches, the e-license course starts February 28th. Call 352-5349 for info. Henrietta Soccer Registration is this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Henrietta Town Hall, 475 Calkins Road. Sam's Army is having a World Cup qualifier bus excursion. It's on April 20th in Foxborough, Massachusetts, a double header. U.S. versus Mexico and the Mutiny versus the Revolution. Call Mark at 691-5406. The Soccer Chamois extended deadline is February 20th. Pick up your ballots at Jim May's Pro Shop, the Soccer Shack, and Locker Room Sports. Coaches and parents, if you have any soccer news, fax me, Jackie O, 254-3271. Michelina's Italian Eatery, 2700 West Henrietta Road, 424-3040. Check them out, lunchtime, dinner time, great Italian food. I love this place. <laughs> and don't forget to come by the Shack, 2298 Monroe Ave. Like, kind of like the soccer chamois, but it's the soccer sh 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 shack. I love that shack. Sh 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 shack. The soccer Ooh. shack. Where's yeah. it now? Where's it again? 2298 Monroe Ave. You just got to come down. And uh, it's, they got everything here. Everything for soccer. It's like a soccer yeah. house. Oh, wait, wait. Don't forget your chili pepperware. I had an easy goal. I was going like this, and I missed a goal. And I had it right in the palm of my head. I'll get it next time. The Rochester Sports Garden, 1460 East Henrietta Road, is holding the RSG Cup Tournament February 14th through February 20th. The tournament is open to all ages and offers women's and men's brackets. The Sports Garden is also accepting applications for their soccer school. Learn from one of Rochester's best soccer coaches, Willie Fitzpatrick. The soccer school is held every Tuesday and Saturday and is open to boys and girls from ages 8 to 18. The Rochester Sports Garden, 1460 East Henrietta Road, 427-2240. Coach, I can't believe you won't give Jackie O the news. She wants to give the fans an update on the Rhinos. Well, I mean, it's important to keep the fans in tune with the team, but, I mean, we have something happening and cooking right now that we don't want to let leak out because there are other teams that are interested in this one particular player, and MLS, for instance, would scoop it up right away. Everything we touch, they seem to want to have some interest in it, so we're keeping it quiet. It's next under week. wraps. Next week, Next please. week. Next week. Promise? Promise. Deal. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, this weekend we have a huge soccer weekend here. First of all, in Rochester at the War Memorial, Saturday afternoon, the Toronto Shooting Stars versus the Buffalo Blizzard were all our favorite Rhino players. Yeah. It's going to be great. Get your tickets right away. If you're watching our Friday night show, you got a whole day, but if you're watching our Saturday, night, Saturday afternoon show, you got hours. Yep. So you got to rush down to the War Memorial. Lots of support in their soccer. Who knows? Someday we may get a team here. And Sunday afternoon at the Marine Midland Arena in Buffalo, New York. The Blizzard are going to have a great halftime show. They're going to have the Stallions back. You're some of your ex-buddies that are playing there, and you're going to be there. Well, we're going to be fine. I tell you, we've been talking about it all week. Zoran Savage, myself, Jim May, Carlos Aguero, Mediteri, Carlos Mediteri, Doi, yeah, Frank, Doi, assistant everybody. coach. They're all going to be there in Buffalo. So make it a doubleheader weekend in Rochester Saturday and in Buffalo Sunday. Let's support indoor soccer. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, Coach, next week, you got to give me that update, buddy. No, no okay, I promise, promise. All right. Well, everyone out there that's watching our show for the first time in Buffalo, New York, please call Delphia Cable and tell them how much you love it. We're just trying to promote soccer in any way we can, indoor and outdoor. Right now, the Blizzard are our home team for Buffalo and Rochester, and the Rhinos are our home team outdoor, Buffalo and Rochester. So support them. Call Delphia Cable, and thanks a lot for supporting us. And, Coach, again. Thank you, Sammy. Have a great soccer weekend, buddy. You too. And if you could, ready? Feel the kick. Bye-bye. Yeah, there you go, baby soccer Sam rules. <laughs>